Well, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back with another video and we got the world's saddest sight for any auto enthusiast here. We got these brand new Michelin PS4 tires still chilling at my apartment complex. I got these specifically for the Jag. We're going to put them on, we're going to burn the old rubber and uh, unfortunately the car is still out of commission. So it is what it is. I'll give you guys an update on the Jag SVR situation. But first things first, we got a few things to talk about on the table right here. And that involves this brand new Agera S. Here it is guys, we've got the beautiful green carbon Agera S Frontier Art number 38 out of 198. Uh, these actually are pretty cheap. They're around between $300 to $400. So they're on the quote unquote lower end, so to speak, for resin models. But yeah, uh, for some reason, they can't seem to sell this particular model. I don't know if it's the spec, I don't know what it is, but I got it at a very, very good price. Many thanks to my buddy Aaron Chun in Hong Kong. So he definitely hooked it up. There it is, guys. What do you guys think? Yay or nay on the Agera S Frontier Art 118 model scale. I'm going to put this to the side because we've got a, quite a few other things to talk about. And of course, Mr. Japanese Hedgehog has joined us for this fireside chat, so to speak. Oh, actually, now before we jump into all that, I just picked up some new gear. We got the SanDisk. 128 gigabyte memory car. I got this pretty cool memory case by Pelican. Now this is not this is not a sponsor post. This is just gear that I actually bought and used off Amazon. So if you guys are interested in any of the links, there's affiliate links in the description below of everything that I use. I also picked up this small Manfrotto mini tripod that usually attaches to the current camcorder that I'm using, the AX53. That'll definitely help support the channel. So I do appreciate all the love. We got the Range Rover Velar 2018 the p250 se we're going to be opening up the trunk we're going to get some gas on the sucker i'll be talking about the pros and cons of this particular car but overall i do like the design it's one of the better looking range rovers out on the market it fits between the evoke and the range rover sport so we're gonna get the cold startup right over here but like i said the main gripe is these two screens right over here, which I will get to very shortly. But so far, so good on this car. We got the Meridian sound system here. Very, very powerful speakers. Uh, unfortunately, the problem uh, is the interior with this car. Uh, there isn't that much space in the rear, believe it or not. It's sufficient, but it's not the best. And of course, check this out. We got this weird pleather rubber kind of texture that you only usually find in a Range Rover or some sort of like thirty, forty thousand dollars car. Of course, got plastic all over the place right over here. Not a big deal because I'm not a huge fan, nor do I really care much about how the quality of the interior. But for a car that is worth, you know, sixty, seventy thousand dollars you expect slightly better over here. If you're not a fan of touchscreens in cars, especially dual touchscreens, you're gonna have one hell of a time with this setup because it took quite a while to figure out uh, my main gripe is with the secondary screen here. A lot of the main controls with seat climate, the regular climate, and of course vehicle settings and whatnot have been replaced by the secondary screen. And of course, the best part though is these two dials right here. You turn it left or right for the temperature, you press it down, and it will turn on the seat coolers or the seat heaters. These two buttons right over here are the most useful part of the entire setup right here. And of course, it involves buttons and not touchscreen. The acceleration in low gears, it's a little clunky sometimes. I don't know if it's the transmission or what's really going on, but we're gonna be getting some gas. We're gonna be talking about the MPGs this thing gets. Guys, check this out. This guy has been parked on my street for quite some time. It's an NX200T wide body kit. Looking pretty damn good. F Sport model as well. Respect, mad respect. There she is guys, 20.6 miles to the gallon. This includes both highway and local driving. Includes all the driving that we did in Vegas, Utah and Arizona. So, oh, oh, this has also been to the Bay Area. So this is a pretty, uh, pretty well-traveled Villar here. So we're gonna head over to Beverly Hills and we're gonna keep on doing what we do best. And that is bringing you the best and funniest content here that Los Angeles and of course the 90210 and Hollywood has to offer. Oh, we got a Fiat. Uh-oh. Oh, uh, whoa, whoa. They're Right now, there's an issue with Los Angeles, and that is there aren't a lot of cars out anymore, not a lot of supercars or hypercars. So it's kind of dull, it's a bit dead, as you can tell here. I'm literally the only person driving on road day right now, so, hmm. All right, guys, I actually just U-turned for this Porsche, but it is a GT3 RS. It's coming up. It's a little dark here, guys, but check it out. 
Nice. Max Showstopping Max has pointed something out. Check out the placement of the uh, the gas cover right there on the rear of the COS shooting brake. Kind of an interesting placement. We've got the SBS logo. Must be their initials or something. Anyways, go back to the Velar and roll out. BHPD has picked up a brand new spanking pickup truck. Oh, he's looking at me. You see that? Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. He's going to do something, dude. I don't know. Boulevard guys check it out we got skirt on the beamer that is a 10 out of 10 license plate right there guys there's like a bunch of dudes lined up on the wall here let's take a closer peek that's not a good look but we got oh yeah check out those doors baby they go all the way up it's the American Muscle flex group here on Hollywood Boulevard trying to find the weirdest and best content and this guy is just dude he's just jamming he is just living life up guys I'm still trying to find that one DJ I featured in my last video guys I'll put a clip of him right here yeah check him out dude he's wearing like an astronaut neon like costume it's kind of like a uh, poverty daft punk so to speak so if anyone knows his real name his Instagram Facebook snapchat even a YouTube channel or DJ name you guys let me know this is not the Beverly Hills police but this is LAPD there's one two three four five six seven cruisers holy smokes well, change of plans. I just checked my voicemail and the SVR is ready for pickup tomorrow. I think they just got the part, uh, the catalytic converter, and they are installing it today. So in theory, the car should be ready by tomorrow. Here we are at our favorite car wash spot. So in true Japanese form, we are taking the loaner car and we're going to wash it, spruce it up, and uh, hold on, let me put this in park, and gas it up so uh, I can return this thing in the morning. If you guys haven't watched my previous Japanese videos, basically what the Japanese do where they get a press car or loaner car that before they return it, they gas it up, they wash it, interior and exterior. So that's exactly what we're gonna do here out of common courtesy. So I was caught off guard by yesterday's call that my SVR was ready for pickup. So here we are in the uh, nick of time, 5.35 p.m. The service center closes at 6 p.m. We're currently here in Hollywood on Wilcox and the traffic is absolutely unbearable. I actually used to work a couple blocks down that way. There she is, guys, the 2018 Range Rover Velar. 2,500 miles on the odometer. It's time to say goodbye and say hello to the SVR that's fully repaired. I'll run you guys through what's been repaired, what were the issues, and an update to the corporate situation because this case got escalated because, well, let's just say the JAG uh, roadside service kind of failed and the video got sent to corporate. Currently here sitting at 14,000 miles on the odometer, 9% uh, gas, but there it is, the Range Rover Velar. The car is looking absolutely as is. We got Italian Hedgehog that's been just sitting in the sun in the uh, service center for the past two and a half to three weeks. Of course, we got Mr. Sheep back in business. The AC is a bit strong, so let's roll on out of here and uh, <laughs> roll straight into traffic. So back in the Jag, and I already missed several things. First things first, the sound system on this thing. Dude, I swear to God, I think I have some blown speakers. I don't know what's going on. But the uh, obviously the sound system, the Meridian sound system on the Velar is much better. Of course, you're still stuck in traffic, and the uh, the visibility obviously in this smaller car is a downside. The cup is always half full, guys, because now we got more buttons rolling around here, so we're in business. That's more like it. Good old gas law going on here. What we do in the states are two different prices: one for debit card or cash, and one for credit card. Obviously, I'm using credit cards, so we're looking at 430 a gallon for premium here. So, three things that were uh, sorted out with the SVR. First thing first, the catalytic converters. The parts were back ordered in the UK. Wait, check out that color. Whoa, that's pretty slick. I like that. But yeah, first things first, 
one catalytic converters had to be completely replaced after what 13 14 thousand miles secondly was the battery issue and if you guys didn't know the battery is located in the rear right here and oh there's a bunch of mr sheep that you guys are not supposed to see but it's uh, located right there. The last and final thing on the list that they had to do was a software update. So I don't really know what that entails. So I'm gonna have to ask my buddy Hamid. But someone did email me a while back. Uh, a subscriber actually hooked it up and said that the software update was imminent and imminent. And what it did was that it kind of toned down the exhaust and made it softer. Now, I don't know if there's any credence or if that's the specific software update that it got, but there it is, guys. Software update, catalytic converter, and of course, the battery. And by the way, this is actually on its third battery. So I'll be talking about that in a little bit in the next couple of videos. Here it is, the damage, guys. $73.17 gallons. Not too bad for a completely empty tank. A lot of people in Europe have complained that I complained about the gas prices here in the US and honestly it is kind of expensive in Los Angeles especially at this particular gas station but uh, compared to European and Asian prices never mind guys never mind dude guys yes check that out that guy's jamming yeah dude he's jamming all by himself in a spacesuit. Yeah, dude, that's what I'm talking about, baby. 